okay, you're not worthy of the dirt on the bottom of my shoes. I'm done with you. Okay, so you wrote those? Okay. What, what was going on there? Like I said, I get, I, I do petty stuff. I get in my feelings and then just, I try to hurt her just like I was hurt. Okay. It just hurt, man. Uh -huh. Do I think that of her? No. Hell no, I love well, my wife. To know that when you, I, when you do it, I know. I, I, I'm wrong. When you say it, when you say it, that's when I shut down. Because you say it, that's what I believe. So you said something very earlier. You said you don't want your kids to go through what you went to. And you also said your exact words were, all I do is care about is my family. I do believe that is your intention. I truly do. But I need you to understand that the impact is different than your intention. Your intention is to make them feel as if like, I'm here for them, I'm doing them. But when I hear things like you say, like your kids got to see you doing that way. You're actually having them go through almost similar to what you went through as a kid. Because I know for a fact, young black man put in, put in prison. You said you don't have any family. I can see the hurt. I understand it. I understand where the anger issues come from. So I wanna let you know that I do understand that. I get it. And I'm sorry that the life that you were given was not what you deserved. Because you deserve to have love, and you deserve to have support, and you deserve to have all these things. But at the end of the day, you now are a man that's still making the choice to repeat a cycle because your kids are seeing it. What are you thinking about right now? I just need some, some tools, man. Yeah. I watch you all the time, Carmo. All the time. Yeah. I'm tuned in every day, you know, before I go to work. I've seen how you kind of give people the tools to try to better themselves. Yeah. That's what I need. Yeah, I hear it. I would love to give you resources like some therapy. Absolutely. So that way, so that you can talk about the anger issues. Thank you. Now, you got the answers. So now you know your wife is not doing anything. Your wife is not doing anything. Yes, yeah. sir. And as you already know, because you've said it already, putting your hands on your wife has to stop. It's, it's, you that's not that. okay. That's not it. okay. I yeah. know that. Okay. Got it. Listen, um, I do want to spend a little time with your wife alone. So would you mind stepping backstage yeah, and sure. spend some time? But I really do appreciate you. Okay. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. So... I grew up in a house where my mother was beat up and was abused emotionally and physically. And you know you're in an abusive relationship. Talk to me from your heart. What's going on? I know that I am. Um, I see that. But like he said, I don't want my kids to be in a separate home from mother and dad. I was, I've seen my father do it to my mother. Yeah. So I don't want my kids to go through what I went through either. I get it. I get it. And I'm sorry. Because if anything I could do is the same thing that the little boy in me wanted to say to my mother when she was younger, is that, Mom, you deserve better. And you deserve better. And I know that you think you're doing this for them, but it's not, it's not for them. Because at the end of the day, I'm telling you, your kids would rather see you happy 